Okay, and welcome back. So far, what we've done was we've set up our website to enable to monetize and take uh, money for each listing. And in, in this case, we chose to go with membership packages. And then with membership packages, we just built the package. We built an example package. We have our packages here. And now we need to display those packages. So we're going to go over to pages and we're going to make a new page. So add a new page. And we're going to make a new page that displays these packages. Okay, so what we're going to name the page, I guess, pricing package. Now we have to go to the back end editor here. In the back end editor, what we're going to do is we're going to add an element and then up here you can see that by fav themes right here that's what we want because the people who made houses made these right here and what we want is the price table right here now it's going to ask us basically what packages do we want to show so we're going to show the standard we're going to take the get the data from the packages that's the easiest way to go because you could add custom data but we're not there yet we're learning the basics right now is this popular well the standard package probably is going to be the popular package so we're just going to take that as the standard okay and we're going to say yes and we're going to come up here and i believe what we're going to do here is save this page and take a look at it. How's that sound? What I'm unsure of right now is whether it threw two pricing packages or one. It seems like it just did one because that's all it asked for. So we need to set up another one right alongside of it. And um, what we're going to do here is just kind of view this page and we should just see, I believe, one package, which means we need to set up our other packages. There you go, just one package. So with that said, we know we got to go back and do either a second or a third one. Now, I did that first basic package just for you to show you how to do it. I've already set up the two packages that I want. I only want two packages. I don't want three packages. I want to see what happens when I do two. I could always add the third one later. But at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to have to add again another pricing table. So we're going to go to the fav, by fav themes and then we're going to go to pricing table. And then we're going to take and we're going to say, well, we're going to go with the plus page and it's not popular. Okay, save the settings. And now they're side by side. So that's not really what I wanted, was it? I want them to be next to one another. So if we do this one, we're going to go back in here and we're going to edit this information, which is not what we wanted. What we wanted is to have two columns here. So the way we do that is look. There we go. Columns. See? Two columns, three columns. We do two columns. And then... We should just take one of these and throw it up in here. Okay, there we go. So now if we're going to remake the video, we would show that we set up two columns first, then add the second column over here. And I'm really confusing you. So let's call this the rough cut. Let's update this for just a minute. And now we can view the package so we can see what it looks like. And there we have the two packages, the plus and the standard. Now. I want this standard over here and I want this plus over here because I don't like the way it's showing from high number to low number but it's starting to look pretty good there next so now if we take this one and slide it over there and take this one and slide it over there so we reverse them I believe let me just update that and we'll take a look now I know we could probably go in here and do an edit on this table and see that this one is the $29 one, the plus package. And then we can go over here and see that this one 
is the standard package so technically it should show us so if we go over here and we say show us we can see that yes it did work now the two packages are ready to go so just for sake just for namesake here let's take a look at three there we go that's two it's two big and one little see that two-thirds and one-third here we want one-third 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 there we go and now we could take this one here and we can go again to bifab themes we can find the pricing table and then we can add that basic package I believe I called it the basic package right here and we can throw that basic package in there save those and then come back here and view that page and we'll see that those are all set up there again there's the three of them now I'm not going to get into this right now but I certainly don't like the fact that this is over to the left which is definitely a line left here and we've squished them up to divide the three columns right here because I guess they're going to leave that uh, the menu bar over to the right is what they were thinking about um, but you can definitely adjust this my problem is that this basic one is not what I had in mind I just wanted to have a standard and a plus okay so we're gonna go back and edit that just so you can see so I guess the first thing we're gonna do is take this package out you want to delete the package yes so we deleted that. Now we need to set up this columns to be the two columns again. See that? We have to set up two columns. Okay? So at this point, that's about where we're at. We're going to save it. We've created our, um, our page that displays our pricing packages that we've made in the previous lesson. And in the next lesson, we're going to go and continue integrating these packages. So join with, join with me in the next lesson, and we'll see you on the other side.